Hello, Dave here with emergencyprepguy.com. I appreciate you stopping by. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to share with you a really fun morning that I had yesterday. I wasn't able to film a ton of it, but hopefully what I did film will uh, be interesting to you guys. So uh, those of you that have been watching this channel for a while, you've probably seen the geothermal greenhouse that I built. Uh, where it takes ground heat and keeps it warm enough that you can grow plants in the winter and then also my mint lighter gardening uh, Garden that I'm that I did for the first time this summer Well, I got all of that stuff from a friend of mine uh, Who also has a YouTube channel LDS prepper his website. That's his YouTube channel's websites ldsprepper.com and uh, for the last I don't know guessing eight or nine months or so he bought a gyro plane and he's been uh, he was back in Maine somewhere I think it was for three months uh, taking gyro plane lessons and, and and getting all the training that he needed and I remember several months back I was talking to him and and he said yeah when I get done when I get my license you know I'll give you a call and I'll I'll fly up to your town and and we'll go for a you know we'll go for a you know we'll take you for a, in the gyro plane <laughs> and so I thought, oh, okay that'd be cool that'd be fun and then I kind of forgot about it well anyway yesterday morning um, about 7:20 or so in the morning I, I, my phone rings and it's Dave and I said hi Dave and he says hey it's a beautiful day the winds are are low. Um, you, you know, do you want to go for a, a, gyro, a ride in the gyro plane? I'll fly up to your airport and, and we'll take it for a ride. I'll take you around. And so I was, I was like, uh, you know, obviously, yeah, come on up. That sounds really, really fun. <laughs> Secretly, I was a little bit nervous, I have to be honest, because I've never, you know, I've flown in small planes before, um, you know, private planes, and, and I've flown in, you know, helicopters when we, you know, my wife and I go to Maui or whatever in the past. Um, take the helicopters up to see the, but I've never fl flown in a gyro plane. Um, and, if, and as you'll see in this picture, it's pretty small. So I was a little bit nervous, but I was pretty excited. And, uh, oh, we got a plane going over. It's not a gyro plane. Anyway, I was a little bit nervous, but Dave said, oh, don't worry about it this is the most safe plane you could fly in or aircraft and so anyway I was excited and and uh, he flew up and I uh, he, he called me when he was about 14 minutes or so from our little local airport and I went up there you know and I met him and kind of a funny story um, one of the when I pulled up to the airport uh, David told me to meet him over by because he had to he needed to fill up on gas when he got here and so he said meet me over by the gas pumps and so I was I, I there was a local pilot guy there that I was talking to and I and I asked him I looked over what I thought was probably the gas pumps I said is that the gas pumps a buddy of mine's coming and I gotta I gotta meet him over there and he goes yeah that's that's the gas pumps what kind of plane is he flying and I told him a gyro plane and his eyes got really big and he goes Oh, your buddy's a brave man. <laughs> and I said, well, I guess I'm brave too, because I'm going with him. And he goes, yeah, you're a brave man. Uh, it was kind of funny. Because he, he flew, I saw him take off. He flew a, a bigger, uh, looked like about a 10 or 12 person, uh, like a private jet kind of thing that he took off on. But anyway, so uh, a few minutes later, Dave showed up. Now I was... I w it was a long ways out. All I had with me was my cell phone, and so I was zooming in. And when I was zooming in that far, the slightest little movement uh, moved the the image a lot. So it's not the best recording, but this is the uh, me filming uh, David coming in to our airport uh, in his gyroplane.
Okay, now here we are just above the airport after just taking off. Um, Dave headed over there by my house. You'll see a little red circle. That's roughly the area where my house is. Um, he wanted to show me that first. As you look around, especially as the camera, as we aim more towards the left, you'll see that's the entire town. There isn't much more, isn't much more to our little town here. Um, and one thing, see, there he goes. We went to the left there. Uh, it's not that big of a town. But uh, one thing, if you've ever ridden in a, you know, a small helicopter or a small private plane, um, I have, and this is a lot smoother. I, no I noticed how smooth it was, and David was telling me that the way these things are designed, all of your weight is being obviously carried by the blades above, and they kind of act like shock absorbers. I don't know how that's different from a helicopter, because this seems smoother than a small helicopter that I've been on. Of course, that possibly could have been the pilot as well. Now, um, as we go out here, you'll see the, the view will switch. We're gonna kind of go out uh, around to the left and circle back around the town. And one thing David kept mentioning to me was, see each of those farm fields? Those are, um, you know, those are basically landing fields for us if we need them, need them to be. And he had told me that this is the safest plane you could, or safest aircraft that you could fly in. That's what they claim. And I asked him why, and he said, well, and here we are, we switched now, we're heading a different direction, and there's David's GPS, uh, how he kind of keeps track of his flight pattern and where everything's at. Um, basically, right around here, he stopped the prop so we could simulate a motor going out. So he just stopped the prop so they weren't turning anymore engine was still running but it was no more forward thrust so it'd be the same effect as if the engine stopped and he said in his training he had to learn how to land that way um, and when he turned off the prop other than the fact that he told me I wouldn't have known and then I looked at his elevation gauge on his dashboard there and I could see the elevation slightly going down but it wasn't like we were falling like a rock. I mean, I couldn't even, like I said, I couldn't even tell. Part of, of him shutting it off, I think, is in this video. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, after a while, he, he turned the prop back on and, and we continued along. And uh, basically what he was saying was that when that engine, be, because the motor only turns the, the prop behind us, behind the cockpit, which moves us forward, gives us the forward thrust. The blades above our head only turn because we're moving forward. The motor doesn't turn them. And so because of that, if you lose your motor, which that's just amazing to me, by the way, that the forward motion could, could turn the blades above us and still provide lift to lift us up into the air. That was amazing. But anyway, because that's the case, when you stop your forward motion, in other words, you stop the motor, the motor dies, you're still moving forward, the blades are still turning, you still have lift. As you slow down, you'll gradually low down, but you can land the plane. So anyway, that's pretty pretty cool, I thought. And he's doing a regular landing here. We do have the motor on. You can see we're coming into the little runway for the little airport here that we have. And uh, one thing that impressed me, you saw this earlier when I filmed him landing when he arrived at this airport, is how little a runway we need. And you'll see that here. Uh, he'll come in, and here in a minute, you'll kind of see a jerk of the camera when we touch down. And uh, let's see when that happens. There you go, we just touch down. And then you'll notice how quickly we slow down. It just amazed me how very, there we are already slowing way down. We just uh, needed very little runway to land this plane. So if you guys get a chance to fly in a gyro plane, I highly recommend it. This was a lot of fun. Okay, well, I hope that was interesting. I hope you enjoyed that. Appreciate you watching the video. By the way, you might want to go over and check out, uh, if you haven't already, uh, LDS Prepper YouTube channel. He's got like 500 plus videos all on emergency preparedness. So anyway, Appreciate you watching the video. Thanks so much. Talk to you in the next video.